Hi everyone. So what I want to do next is I want to do another example, but in this example I'm going to be using some sort of data. And in this data, um, I'll be able to um, grab certain information based on um, a number that I'm randomly generating in a use effect, and then based on whatever position within the array I'm grabbing in the data, um, that will um, be doing some sort of if and else checking in order to return the right data for me or for the user to see. So let's set this up first. I'm going to import the use state and also I'm going to import use effect. And what I'll do is set up the function as well. And I will want to set up the data. Let's set up the data first. And I'll start this use state at a value of zero. Or I just won't set up anything because I'm going to do a random number generator. I want to use a use effect. And in this use effect, I'm going to be generating some sort of random number in order to grab a certain position in the data. So what I want to do is I need to, at the end of the use effect, I need to put these square brackets so I know that it only renders once to generate the random number. So I'll set the number to math.floor and then also math.random. And I'll multiply by 2, so then it can only go up to um, position value of 2. And then I will also set up an if and else statement. So if, I'll say if the data, whatever the number is, so once it grabs, um, it looks at the data here, and then based on whatever random number is generated, it will store it here in the use state, and it'll grab that number, and based on the position that it indicates here, it will go to that data right here to collect it. And I'll say if it's equal to or strictly equal to the value of Sunny, then I will say something here to return it and display it on screen. It'll say time to go outside. But if it's not this, then I'll have an else statement. And here I'll have it return something else. And inside here, it will actually return stay inside. So depending on what type of data is collected based on the random number, if this is true, if it is equal to sunny, it will return this type of information on our screen. But if it's not going to be sunny, if it's false, then it'll go here to the else statement and then it'll return um, and tell the user to stay inside. So let me save this and go to the browser. And I'll go to example three. And when the page loads, it'll automatically generate a random number. So right now it says stay inside because it's just a um, it's an, it's not going to be sunny right now. And in order to actually see it, um, what number it has selected, I could also do this console.log number. Let's take a look at that, see how that works out. And I will refresh this. So, um, okay, so right now it's undefined because it renders so quickly, it's not going to see it. So let me cancel that one. And what I could do instead is, let's say right above the returns, I could just do the console log to see what number will be returned. So let me refresh the page here. And okay, I can see it's one right now. Okay, so let me refresh one more time here. It's one, so stay inside, refresh. 
it's zero. So now time to go outside. One. So you can see that the numbers are randomly being changed and generated right now. So every time the page um, refreshes or re-renders, it's going to just generate a brand new number. And of course, um, you just have to make sure that um, you want the random number um, at a certain number. Um, and then based off of that, it will just check to see whatever data it's collecting and seeing whether it's not whether or not it is true or false and you want to return some sort of information so you could see only if this section is true it'll return this information but if it's not true then it'll return this else statement which is whatever is left over